abalungi nyongera okubabuza ko nyona te nti mwasuze mutia mwashiye mutia kansubidenti jigenda bulungi je mtu sake ngalo ngabuli jo na te na te era okomyo na mawe agafde entertainment industry ne ngolwa lero tugenda kutambula ni munna bya bufuzi atenga muyimbi ononno ngaye robert chagula nyi center ono mu mwaka ogwa 2018 ino musango we yali yawabira oloko tulugunyizibwa nokwatibwa wabula we kogerera bwabadde agenze wali mu kachiko aka human rights commission Uganda afundikide omusanga abujeyo olwensonga zengendo okukuwa eranga bobi wayi zinonno Owa enono yebade postiye. This morning we appeared before the incompetent and biased Uganda Human Rights Commission regarding a case we filed in 2018. Today was the first time I was being invited for a hearing. I have therefore withdrawn it for the reasons stated in this statement national unity platform statement to the uganda human rights commission honorable chagulani robert sentam 20th may 2024 chairperson and members of the commission we filed this complaint for the violation of my rights on 7th December 2018 after security agencies blocked over 20 of my music concerts, confiscated our music equipment and denied several people their right to earn a living simply because of my political affiliation. We are appearing this morning more than five years later for a chance to be heard. Article 28 of what is left of the Constitution of Uganda provides for the rights to a fair hearing. It provides that a person shall be entitled to a fair, speedy and public hearing before an independent and impartial court of or tribunal. A speedy hearing before an independent and impartial tribunal. Tugenda maso ne baluwa bubuwa nye jawa ndi kide human rights si nga jitege ze nsonga luachi a withdraw in ze omusango. This commission which is empowered by the constitution to protect the constitutional rights is the one violating those rights. How can a complaint regarding human rights violation take more than five years to be heard? Madam Chairperson, what kind of commission are you presiding over? Over time, many other atrocities and grave human rights violations have been meted on many supporters of the political party I lead, the National Unity Platform. These have included arbitrary arrests, arbitrary arrests, extrajudicial killings, detention without trial, torture, rape, and sodomy in detention, trial of civilians in military courts on trumped up charges, and enforced disappearances. Today, some of our supporters who were abducted by security are still missing and uncounted for three or four years. Some of these complaints have reached this commission, but the security agencies have continued to commit these crimes against our people with impunity. To our disappointments, we have not only seen in action by this commission against the perpetrators but we have also had public statements from the leadership of this commission 
not only mocking the victims but also attributing the blame entirely on them. Madam Chairperson, you yourself have shamelessly told the mothers, spouses and children of our missing person that their missing loved ones were ghosts. Because of these circumstances, our confidence in this commission is gravely shaken. The commission, which was put in place to protect rights and freedom, has turned out to be an accomplice in the gross violations that have come to define our nation. The Commission lacks the competence, the independence, and the impartiality required of it to resolve this complaint. It is a mockery that this complaint is being heard more than five years later before a specialized tribunal which is supposed to be faster than a court of law. The hearing this morning is only intended to sanitize the criminality and disregard of the law. Nothing meaningful can come out of this hearing. Justice delayed is justice denied. Because of that, I hereby withdraw the complaint we filed over five years ago for the reasons mentioned above. In my view, this commission has a serious reflection to make and decide whether it intends to serve the people of Uganda or to continue serving the interests of Genome 7 and his military regime. Having said this, I beg to leave because I'm not even sure of our safety here. Seeing that you yourself recently said that some members of this commission possess possesses and come to meeting with guns Oroku kwati wa, oye ni mabio kwati wa, oroku kani woku ye basho de suka mwabi di, nebi ya la vinti nga wobe wuri de. Nyongero kukuju kizanti, subscribe inga, like inga, share inga, comment inga, take a call notification in play, osukuloku la vikanti, ofuna, opteke zegu wako. Buri reteka yo video endala. Musibe mwurungi mwela ba.